Yes. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. In today's video, I want to introduce you guys to this company, Databricks. This is our company that I've just been researching, and boy, are they primed for some explosion. And again, this company is currently not trading publicly, but you guys, you know how I do it. When I see it, I make sure you guys are aware, put it on your watch list so that if they plan on going public, I don't care if it's through IPO or through a, a spark, you guys are already gearing up to jump right in. So that's why I want to make sure that we cover this company on the channel. And also, uh, remember, we talked about Snowflake last year and it came out and exploded. This company is the next Snowflake. So I don't want you guys to miss out on this opportunity. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, this company uh, provides data analytics solutions to all kinds of industry. Um, and the thing that got me with uh, Databricks is the way their solution works. So we know that um, companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, and all these big companies, they, they I mean they produce, even Google produce a lot of data. And so most companies, you would have to, or most analytic solutions, you would have to copy that data from, uh, let's say, from uh, AWS into a separate uh, warehouse before you can crunch it. So Databricks has a smart solution for data analytics where they actually would crunch that data still sitting right on database in, let's say, AWS. I know it probably too much for a lot of you guys, but... I mean, if you understand that the solution of data analytics and stuff like that and data movement and the fact that these guys can perform that without moving that data around, it's a big, big deal, which I think the solution is going to be very, very handy. So that's why I want to make sure you guys uh, really have this one. If you can see here, again, this is, they are right now valued at somewhere $28 billion. And again, it's a private company, guys, $28 billion. Um, so you see they have invest investments from Amazon, from Alphabet, from Salesforce, and also Microsoft was an early investor in the company, as you can see here. Microsoft came in early in the company. So if these big guys are betting their money on a company like this, boy, me and you, we have no choice but to follow the lead um, because they know they know the significance of this. Because like I said, these companies, uh, Amazon, Alphabet, Salesforce, or even Microsoft, they produce a lot of data and that data needs to be managed somehow in terms of using the data to produce information that's needed by businesses. So these guys are you know, leading that space and I am super excited. Again, this is Snowflake. Last year we talked about it. It went public and went crazy. Um, where Let me bring on the charts here. If you can see right now, trading somewhere about $304, um, the stock has gone up to as high as, if you can see here, over, over close to 430 before pulling back. So I think this is the same thing that's going to happen with uh, Databricks. As soon as this company um, says they're going public, we should definitely get ready to get in there. Um, you guys know how this works, right? Um, the day of the IPO or day of the Spark uh, announcement, usually you're going to see a huge rise and then pullback. And I always say, if you're day trading, you can trade that squeeze up and then sell and then wait for pullback before you can buy for long term. So again, that is some of the, the, the little things that I always try to make sure that I, I let you guys know. Don't chase stocks. Most people that are new to the market, the thing that would make you hold a ton of stocks that you are down in is because you chase them. You buy stocks when you see them going up. You don't buy them when they go down. Instead, you buy when stocks are down because that's when it's on sale. I want you to keep that mentality every time when you see a stock gapping up. You ask yourself one or two questions. Do I want to hold this stock long term? Or do I just want to make some profit now? If you want to hold the stock long term, wait for that stock to gap up and come back to you. Set your price and then it would go and come back to you. That discipline is going to help you a lot to be a better investor. So definitely try to practice that. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video, guys. I want to make sure that you guys are really aware of this. Again, go out there, research the company. It's Databricks currently valued at about $28 billion. 
I, they don't have any plans on going public right now. The CEO was on CNBC and says they, they're just looking at different options that they have from either going through a SPAC or doing a traditional IPO or just uh, do a direct listing. I think those are the three options that he mentioned uh, doing a direct listing. So we'll see what happens, but I definitely have this one on my radar and I'll be watching it. And as you guys know, if it comes out and I hear any good news, I'm definitely going to let you guys know ASAP uh, that this is happening so you guys can jump right in the place. So I just want to give you guys a heads up. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to end money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, we both still are doing a promotion where if you sign up, you get some free stacks links in the description below. And as always, don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated. Thank you.